Less than three weeks before the voter registration deadline, the legal battle is heating up over whether public funds can be used to get more people signed up. So what reality are we living in here when our own attorney general has sued one of its local governments to try to attempt to stop them from registering eligible voters? Today, Travis County leaders defended their right to hire the single bidder, Civic Government Solutions, to mail voter registration forms to eligible but unregistered voters. In this case, there was only one bidder, um, but it was put out um, to, to anybody. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton is suing Travis County on the grounds it does not have the authority to use taxpayer money to hire an outside firm such as CGS to identify unregistered voters. Paxton says in a statement, Travis County has blatantly violated Texas law by paying partisan actors to conduct unlawful identification efforts to track down people who are not registered to vote. The attorney general says the process invites voter fraud. Travis County Judge Andy Brown disagrees, saying no laws or procedures were violated. There's a very specific process involving the auditor, the purchasing department, everything like that. We, we followed that to a T and one company responded, and so if we wanted the work done, that, that was our option. To register to vote in Texas, residents must fill out this one-page form that asks 10 questions, including name, address, date of birth, and Texas driver's license number. Travis County leaders say the pen and paper process is antiquated. We're one of the last states in the country without online voter registration. As a result, there are many Texans who are eligible to vote and face logistical barriers to registering to vote, which often includes lack of access to voter registration forms or knowledge about where to acquire them. Election officials also denounce concerns that non-citizens will register to vote as a result of the mass mailing. Even if non-citizens were, were to engage in a conspiracy to intercept voter registration applications from the mailboxes of eligible citizens, the Secretary of State checks every application against DPS, Social Security, and other databases. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.